back to my channel so today i thought i'd work on a bit of my diamond painting that i kitted up a couple of days ago so i'm gonna do the letter d and it is this gorgeous like maroony ready color and we're just gonna get started I've got my new diamond painting pen that I absolutely love. I have already done a section. This is the second section. I'm just working on it. I do have the flash on my phone as well, so in case you guys see those like sparkles and all that. I have my light on as well, so it's like extra light for you guys to see all the sparkles. This video will be about half an hour long. Sorry if you hear my chair squeaking. I do apologise. I am recording this a little later than I usually do. But it will be uploaded on the day like i usually upload on a tuesday and thursday and saturday i love this pen so much hopefully i can get more for christmas because i i really prefer these pens over your standard toolkit pen they're so much comfortable. They really are so much more comfortable. This part here really annoyed me because it's literally all the same colour. Oh, I think I don't like colour blocking, you know. I'm learning with dime paint and like what I like and what I don't like. I kind of like... Like... Like colour blocking and confetti down painting, it's like mix. That's what I've learnt myself. But if it's just a massive square of just one colour, I, uh, I hate it. I actually hate it. I do have um, blue wax on and I don't know the difference to be honest guys, I really don't. To me it feels the same as when I'm using the red one. If you guys have any tips and tricks of like different waxes, I know people use putty but I'm not too sure about that about myself. And um, they, they use glue dots as well. Again, I'm not too sure about that about myself personally. But I am trying to get this diamond painting done this month because I do have another two more after this diamond painting to do for Christmas. Well, before Christmas. And I am trying to get it done before December. So. And I haven't done any body colours either this month, which is crazy. But all my buddies understand and I will definitely get them done. If it's not this month, it'll definitely be done, like, next month or the month after or something. Because I am trying to get these done for Christmas. And I know you guys who are my buddies and do buddy colours with me understand all this, so. And if you are one of my buddies who do buddy colouring this month with me and you feel like you're falling behind just don't worry about it don't get stressed out or nothing like that there is no rush whatsoever in my buddy colours i got a um 
all a b down painting the other day like literally the whole canvas is just a b's and when i've done this one well done me christmas present ones um and done the stained glass rapunzel one that i started a few months ago i'll definitely kiss up that one with you guys and show you guys all of it hope you guys did enjoy that kiss up video because there will be more in the future because i really enjoyed recording that video i'm literally working around the tripod and it's so annoying because it's like directly in the view of my um section i'm doing but it's fine because all i'm doing is looking through the camera lens like on the screen of my phone And it's helping me a little bit. I bought myself, well, I got given, I bought myself, um, some diamond paint and sealer. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm scared to use them on these because these are gifts. So what I'm going to do is do all of the gifts without it. Because all I do is when I finished it, I cut it and then I just stick it in the frame. So really it doesn't really need sealing because the frame's doing the sealing for me, if that makes sense. But like if I finish the Rapunzel one, I'll try my hardest to try and record a video of it. Like first time using it. But I'm really scared in case I absolutely mess it up. And then, you know, I've just ruined, like, a week's worth of work, pretty much. It does have instructions and, like, how to do it. And this is where I got this gorgeous pen from um, with the sealer. It's on Amazon. If you guys would like to look at it, I'll show you guys the sealer. It was not so zoomed in. In one second, guys. I'm just gonna wiggle you. This is the sealer that I got, and it comes with two of them, and it came with the pen as well. Um, well, I've never used sealer, but it does tell me like what to do. Scared in case it like ruins it, but you know, I'm just gonna wiggle you back down. Sorry, guys, about the moving camera. There we go. But yeah, I am, I'm just gonna use that after I've done these ones because I don't really want to ruin it. If you guys have that type of sealer, please let me know if it's good or not. Just let me know. Because that would really, really help me. Because if it's not good, then I'm not going to use it on myself. But if it is quite good, just let me know. The reviews on Amazon said it was really good. But... You know, there's fake reviews out there, so I don't actually know. But I do want to try it out for myself, but I don't want to ruin these pictures. I have completed pictures before, and I could test them on them, but... I don't know. I don't know. I've seen people use a um, Mod Pod glitter and make the diamonds sparklier, and I think that's an absolute genius idea.
So how is everyone today? I haven't even asked you guys today. I've been absolutely fine. I've been doing the stand painting and I'm going to try and work on this for the next couple of days, maybe three days or something. Get that done and dusted by like the 20th and then focus on the colouring again and see how much I get done because this month I've gone quite good on the colour. And I'll get two dying paintings done. Oh, that'll be amazing. If I can hit about 20 dying 20 paintings, imagine. 20 pictures and two dying paintings. I'm happy that month. I am. I'm happy. I've done about, I think, 12 or 11 pictures. I'm not too sure. I, um, I've done quite a lot of hashtags as well, which I'm absolutely... I may as well. I've been very um, productive this month, to be honest. It's like a glare and I can't see. Oh, that's a day there, yeah. It's like a glare coming from the actual light that I use. I do have a light pad before filming I don't use it because I don't want to like wash out the colours because it might wash out because I do use the flashlight on my phone and I do use the light that I use and I don't want too much light in case it like you know washes out a little bit and I do apologise for this bit of glare here it's really annoying I know this is as flat as this canvas will go so it has a bit of a dimp, but by the time I get it into the frame and all that fun stuff, it should be absolutely fine. Like it should like so flatten, if that makes sense. But like I said, if you got any tips or trips for me to like get a little better at it because i have been doing this since may 2022 so i am fairly new at this game is there anything else you'd like to see from me from the channel let me know I don't um, separate my diamonds, by the way. When I've finished a kit, I just shove all the diamonds into a pot itself. Like, just all together. But if it has, like, special drills or has, like, crystals, I put all the crystals together. All different types of sizes with special drills, like, certain sizes together. You know, and probably, I'll, I know this is going to be, like, why? Like, people's, like, worst nightmare. I'll probably put all the ABs together as well. I probably wouldn't separate them because, I don't know, I just like keeping the drills, but not the colour separation, you know what I mean, don't you guys? And I know it's quite good to keep them because of, in case you run out or they don't supply for all of them, but you can also buy them on Etsy and get the packets like that. So I'm just holding diamonds to be honest guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm just keeping them all mixed together. I, I like it when they're all mixed together. I think they look absolutely beautiful together. But I've noticed this year I've used a lot of like these colours like browns, yellows, blacks and like whites. I've used a lot of that. I haven't used any fun colours which is really sad. I think they've been very like muted colours is that the word? Very like realistic. But I have done about this will be my fourth dog picture. Real like real life dog picture. I have done two portrait pictures. And I still got one more poultry picture and another dog picture to do before Christmas, so Hopefully I'll get all them done. They're all the ABs, but I'm not too sure. 
I can't see anymore, so I think it will from now on have gone. Just need to the jars like full full, so it's hard for the funnel to go in. So I need to just use the little spout thing, but I barely ever use this, so it's harder for me to like <laughs> pour the pills in. So bear with me guys, I am so sorry. I've noticed a lot of these um, containers for this one full to the top. So I know there's a lot of colour blocking in this diamond painting, which I'm not, like I said, I'm not too mad about, but I'm also like... You know, number four, I think that would be a nice thing to do because it wants to chunk them. Just put on number four, and number four is like a gorgeous caramelly brown colour. I'm not sure there's proper names for them, but I call them what I want to call them. <laughs> and if you want the DMC code, it is 400. For number four and for D it was nine oh two. I do sometimes use my multiplacer, but I can only multiplace with three. I tried more and I just I don't know, I just can't do it. And these are like the older ones, I think. I'm not too sure. I like them more thing and people don't like them really. I haven't had a problem with this three placer. This three placer has been my little gem for a good few months, to be honest. I've, I've been enjoying multi placing with just three. But any more than that, I just I can't do. I don't know why. I know you can practice and practice and practice, that's what it's all about, but it frustrates me a bit more. So I, I can just leave it like one and three place. The biggest canvas that I do have at the moment is a 50 by 40 and it is a square drill. I've never done a square drill in the whole time that I've done diamond painting. So I think... That's what I might be doing. Like next year, I will be experimenting a lot more in diamond painting. Because of course, I'm still doing these for Christmas. I will still be doing diamond paintings as well. Like when I've done these, of course. But there'll be a lot more of just custom diamond painting content at the minute because that's the one I'm working on. So, <laughs> and I do like showing you guys what I work on and. Just love chatting to you guys about anything. So let me know if you are working on a diamond painting. What's your diamond painting that you're working on? Like you can tell me the name of it with the artist if you really want to. If it doesn't have an artist on it, you can like tell me the picture or like describe it or something in the comments. Sorry about my really squeaky chair, it's really squeaky and it is bubbling me a little bit. I need to get a new one, but might just have Santa for one. <laughs> There's like a squeaky floorboard underneath where my desk is as well, so where my chair is, it's like where the squeaky floorboard is. It's really annoying when I'm really concentrating. So it's like Sweet, 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 all the time. I'm like, what? What the? So I do apologise if that's annoying. I know it's annoying me.
when I've done a section, I do use my roller to roll all the diamonds down to make sure they're all secure down. So I've got a gap in what I've done, but it's fine. Because if it looks fine from six feet away, I think it is. Um, they say if it looks fine and not pixelated from six feet away, it's absolutely fine. But if it's still a bit pixelated and fuzzy, it's a really bad canvas. So every single one that I've done so far has been absolutely amazing. So I did buy myself a Baby Yoda one or Baby Groku or the child or whatever you want to call them. I bought um, him and I think he was one ninety nine on Amazon. Literally less than £2. And he came with drills, he came with the kit. His um, field was perfect. It wasn't fuzzy, it wasn't like pixelated not unlike that it was absolutely perfect it's like the best bargain i've had on a dying painting i know a lot of people use timo but i don't really use timo well i do prefer amazon and hopefully i can get my first ever diamond art club that um diamond painting that would be really nice but that's something i'm gonna have to just wish for in it because to me, for myself personally, it is quite expensive to get. But they are like really, really high quality and you get literally everything in the kit. And it's not just one of them basic tool kits. It's like, it is a basic tool kit pen. It's not one of these fancy pens. But it gives you washi tape, a cover minder, baggies. Uh, tweezers if it's a square one and the canvases are huge I've seen so many they're huge you can get small ones like a 30 by 40 but I've never seen them one work from a 30 by 40 <laughs> they're always like I don't know like 80 by 104 or something crazy like that and I'm like wow me just thinking about that it's like pff, no my, my brain wouldn't be able to cope and wouldn't know how to like set up or anything like that. My comfort zone is a 30 by 40. It really is. And I'm just going to do this one colour and then call it a video. Because we are already like 25 minutes into the video and I can't say that. I don't washi tape the borders because I have like, what I do is, where is it, what's that one, there, I'm looking through the actual like phone, um, what I do anyway, I, I cut off the extra stickiness anyway, so you won't notice that when it's all fine. But I do try and make sure that it's still clean, you know what I mean? I am so sorry, my voice has just disappeared on me. Replace uh, oh, I just grabbed two, so it's fine. So, I like about three places as well. If it grabs two, it's fine. What happens over time with these as well, they flatten out for me just slowly. Then the weather's been absolutely freezing today. In the UK, it's finally feeling like, you know, winter and autumn and just nice, comfy weather, that's what I call it. I, I love the winter. I rather have winter than summer. 
Swimming with heat is just horrible. It really is. For you guys who were like living really hot countries, I salute you guys because I couldn't handle the heat like that. We had a heat wave in the UK in September. Yes, September. When we had a heat wave. And I just couldn't handle it. I think it was 40 degrees in London at one point. Of course, it didn't get that high where I was because... I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know where I was going with that one. It just wasn't as hot, but it was like above 30. Oh, it was horrible. Sticky and you can't sleep overnight. Ugh, no. But it has been raining heavy lately though. I want to welcome all my new subscribers and welcome back my returning ones. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, it's free. And you'll join this crazy family. If you're wondering who I am, what I do, all that fun stuff. Um, I literally do diamond paintings like I'm doing now. I do colour and chats. I do end of the month with like what I've completed. Uh, I do like sticker by numbers, I do anything really that's art related. I try and mix and match as much as I can in this channel for everybody. And I do like to change up my crafty type thing sometimes because if you didn't know I do have autism and ADHD and them two mixed together it, yeah, it creates like this like hyper focused on one thing and then next minute and don't want to do not on the next minute it's really really difficult sometimes but with with art itself i really enjoy being creative and it keeps my mind really really active and really busy so if you are like me like adhd or autism or anything like that and you feel like you're a little bit like you don't know what to do try a bit of art a bit of art and if it's still not your thing it's not your thing but you know um or if you have little kids who have got like autism and you're wondering what to do for them give them a little pen and paper or something and or like or even this but like obviously really smaller versions for them like you can get stickers you can get like key rings anything like that and it'll probably keep them hyper focused you'll probably see your child really hyper focused on the one thing because for me personally i didn't think i'd like this because of all like the little tiny drills and just the i thought oh that's just gonna take forever to do my first one did it took six months to do but i didn't know what i was doing and it was partial as well but then the more i've been doing it the more faster i've got and the more easier it is for my brain to realize that goes with that that goes with that i used to write the actual numbers down on the lids but now i write the actual codes and i find that a lot more easier but you do you if you want to do that but to me personally i love the codes because then if i wanted to i could cut off this border now and just use it as like just like a painting thing and um i still have all the numbers there you know what i mean and it's really i think it goes a lot faster because i'm not there going oh what's number 11 oh that's d oh what's number six oh what's number six you know what i mean i've got six six d d f f k whatever you know what i mean If you are really passionate about something, just do it. That's why I say, if you really like unsure and doing it, just go for it because I really enjoy what I do right now. I really do. And I want to thank all of you who have subscribed to me. I want to thank all of you who like just subscribed to me or are fairly new to the channel. I want to thank you all just for retaining or 
even just popping in to say hi, you know what I mean? I just love you guys so much. I never used to be open about my autism or ADHD. I used to hide it because I used to think, oh, I'm different. No one will like me because I'm different. Do people like me because I am different, you know what I mean? And if you ever feel like that yourself, because I know a lot of people feel like that sometimes, like insecure about themselves, embrace who you are and then the real people will show. You know what I mean? Your real friends will show, your real people who love you. Like, I'll support you no matter what. I would absolutely support you no matter what. I'm just doing this tiny little bit and then I'll... Um, that is do whatever you want to do after this video if you want to watch more of my content just you know visit the profile and click on all the videos i upload three times a week like i said tuesday thursday and saturday and i try and upload like three times every time but if something comes up um like I'll let you guys know in the following video, you know, when I'm recording that because I can't, I think I can't post on the community yet because I've not got a thousand, but I'm not too sure if that's changed or what, but I do let you guys know on Instagram and stuff like that if stuff like that happens. I do apologise for the squeaky chair, it is really annoying. Put it back on, okay. I think I'm going to watch a horror movie after this video. Because it is like past midnight for me, so it's bedtime for me. <laughs> like I said, I am recording this a little later than what I usually do. Because I usually record about 11, because I always record when it's nice and quiet. And now I've got like a little routine from the old house cause of the neighbours. Um, the previous ones. I've now got a habit of just recording at 11 then. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Don't forget to follow my Instagram, follow my Facebook group page, and also give my TikTok a little bit of love. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!